In the middle of the left shore of the Italian Lake Como, there is a small tourist town of Menaggio. Its special location makes it a convenient stopping point for everyone who goes to Switzerland or vice versa to the city of fashion and style Milan. Hello everyone, you are on the Travel Channel. Subscribe and do not miss new releases. Also put likes so that others can see this review. Enjoy your viewing. Located at the foot of the mountains on a wide plateau, the city advantageously occupy the local plain on the shore of the lake. A beautiful embankment, a navigable pier, restaurants, and a variety of shops and boutiques favorably distinguish this town from many others. local climate, even in the cold period, which does not give to fall temperature below zero, allows to decorate gardens and flower beds with exotic plants, what is actively used by local residents. We pause by the central square, which is full of tourists, noise and traffic on weekends. There are park areas and pedestrian paths throughout the embankment, which will give you the opportunity to enjoy a walk and magnificent views of the opening lake with mountain ranges on the horizon. Just look at this pristine nature. Birds, fish, crystal clear water, greenery. There are several large hotels in the city which makes it a resort in the period from the beginning of May to the end of October. There are also several beach spots along the embankment. Let's move on. Another monument is dedicated to the fallen Italian soldiers in the First World War, in which losses amounted to more than one million people. The city is surrounded by shady parks Due to its tourist popularity, there are a lot of car parks in the city. It also has its own small mountain river, running actively during the rainy season. While we're walking, I'll tell you a little about the history of the birth of the city. In 768, Queen Ansa presented the watchtower to the local monastery of St. Christina, which served as the foundation of the settlement. In the 10th century, the strengthening of the settlement began fragments of the medieval wall still remain. The city went through several internecine wars, several changes of power, and finally, after the unification of Italy in 1870, fashionable hotels and villas of the bourgeoisie began to be built on the shore of the lake which gave the city a modern look. The town has both open squares and a small network of cozy shady streets with shops and restaurants that tourists love so much on hot summer days. Those classic Italian streets on the central square, which faces the local church, there are many shops. You can walk around the town for 30 to 40 minutes at a calm pace, enjoy the architecture, beautiful views of the lake, take a ride on water transport. Finally, as a wonderful end to the walk, I recommend having dinner at one of the local restaurants. That's all I have. 
I wish you a pleasant journey. Hope my notes will help you. Subscribe, like, and wait for new releases.